Bhag here with Anushka from Balance Psychologies. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be here with her. We're talking about, um, in this occasion, we're talking about families and children and co-parenting with uh, narcissistic people. But let me tell you that her social media and everything, her channel and her website, everything will be down below. Thank you. And yeah. And so, and the other videos that we filmed. So yeah. Um, so I wanted to ask her what is, uh, I don't know, good things, what good um, advice that you could give us if uh, for people that are de dealing with uh, narcissistically abusive people and those are the parents of our kids. <laughs> so what can we do and um, yeah. This is quite a difficult actual um, subject matter, isn't it? Because what do you do? Because you want, obviously you want the best for your child, you want the best outcome for your child and you want to do the best by them. But you know, like I said before, the best thing that you can do is show your children unconditional positive regard. So that means that you give your children um, their own um, independence, their own sense of self and having, um, understanding them, giving them the, the, um, the kind of voice or the space to be able to talk about mm -hmm. their um, experience with their parents or experiences. Right. Um, so showing them that they have the right to yes. say no and they have the right to, to say yes I want this. You know, to be absolutely, heard. absolutely, and I know that it's always your. There's always a, a like a concern where you're thinking, oh, if my child goes over mm -hmm. to the other parent, um, what happens if they say bad things about me? What happens if they if they put me down and try and turn the child against me? Right, and of course, that will happen. It will. It's a given. They will use the children yes. against you. But you've got to understand is that. You're, you're not operating from an ego sense. You're not operating ego to ego. So you've got to understand that the child is always going to go by how they, how that person makes them feel. Even though the child's not going to understand it, be able to articulate it, they will be able to feel it. Mm -hmm. So if you're the parent who um, is nurturing them, who is loving them, giving them everything, that child is naturally gonna be drawn to you. It's the same as if you've got family pets as well. You'll mm -hmm. know that the, that the family pet is going to be drawn to that person that gives it so much love, it's shelter, um, give it um, nurturing, and it all works on that Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If yeah. all of those needs are met, then that person is going to be naturally drawn to you. So it works the same as whether it's your child or your pet or whoever it is, the child will want to be around you more. Now think about it, if the child is then going to, um, going to the narcissistic parent, how is that narcissistic parent going to be making them feel? Well, they'll be putting the other parent down. And you know yourself, like if your mother or your father was putting the, your, your mother or father down, your natural response is to protect them, right? You, yeah. you are always gonna want to protect them because it's just a natural instinct. And so that's how your child is going to feel, like they have to protect the other parent, like they have to, um, you know, wanting to help them in some way. And that doesn't make you feel good. No. Having to protect your parent, that doesn't make you feel good. It makes you feel anxious. It makes you feel angry, irritated. And those are the feelings that your child is going to be coming home with, is feeling angry, upset, anxious. Mm -hmm. So can you see what I mean? It's like how you make them feel versus how the narcissistic parent makes them feel. And so that's what you've got to remember. You've got to teach them um, about self-love. You've got to teach them um, to develop the confidence. Um, You've also got to help them develop boundaries, boundaries as well. Yes. This is a really important um, aspect, but boundaries is quite a it's uh, quite a sticky subject matter because yeah. there's so much in it having right. you know developing boundaries. It's easy to say, but it's you know. Yeah, what does it actually really mean? What yeah. does having when boundaries actually practice, mean? It's yeah. difficult. Yeah. It is, it is. Because it doesn't feel good to put a boundary. It feels like... Mm, it's true, it feels weird. Like, actually, even more yeah. so, if, yeah, if it's a parent that you have to put a yeah. boundary to a parent. Yes, or, absolutely. Or even, you know, you know, stand up to what you feel. That's so true, of, of course, of <laughs> yeah. course. 
How do you do fair. that? Yeah. But remember, with with narcissistic parents, they're not going to have that. They're, they're you know, with they don't have boundaries. Yeah. That's why everything's so enmeshed and so um, dysfunctional. And that's where that's where part of that disorder is all about. It's, it's the dysfunction of boundaries. Um, because uh, a narcissistic parent won't allow their child to have their own mm. autonomy and they feel that what they're saying, the child has to conform to what the narcissistic mm. parent wants. Right. So ultimately, boundaries, boundaries is quite simple, but it's very hard to kind of initiate. So with boundaries, it's about what is it that you that you want? What is it that you're willing to accept? What don't you want to accept? And until you know the answer to that, that's when you can actually develop boundaries. Right. Because if you know what it is that you want, when you when your child knows that that doesn't feel right, maybe if I say that to mum and dad, the, or mum or dad, whoever is the narcissistic parent, like that doesn't feel too good to me. Like yeah. you know, that's when you know. And ultimately, it's a question of. It comes down to what you feel, what, sure. how, to, to knowing how you feel yes. and what you want. Yeah, Absolutely. And that's it's, it's exactly easier said than done, right? <laughs> it's, it's something that takes practice. It is, it yeah. is. And, I, and all I'm going to say is stick with it. Don't not do that. I mean, ultimately the parent, you are the role model. Right. You have to show your child that um, and your child will learn from you. From so. You. So that's why we need to be okay, good, and you know, know what we want, so, so that yes, they absolutely, can so that you can that. show your child that that is the right way to be, absolutely, because yeah. that really does help in terms of um, showing a child to grow up in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. um, a child doesn't inherit um, narcissism mm -hmm. or a personality disorder. It's not a genetic inheritance. It is um, something that is. That is, it's a behavioural thing, isn't it? Um, you learn by behaviour, by the way that the person acts, by the, by the way the person behaves. Um, it's about adjusting those behaviours. And so that kind of makes it a little bit easier because you know that your child is not going to grow up narcissistic because genetically they are like that. Mm -hmm. No, it's they've learned that behavior. Yeah. And behaviors you can change, sometimes, genetics you can't. Right. Mm. And sometimes we get you know worried about they come home with certain behaviors that yeah oh no yeah yeah they're coping yeah. things and all that yeah and that's when we need to you know stay strong yeah and don't tell them all yeah, off. No, I was no. gonna say don't tell them all because they don't actually know they're just they're just it's, taking example from their parent and I know that it's even worse it's yeah like it's, yeah. And that makes yeah. them feel even it more anxious. Yeah. yeah, and you don't want them to feel yeah. the anxiety. So it's about gently, with kindness, right. with nurture, with love, just coaxing them into a difference. Maybe even talking with them, communicating with them how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. That's really, really important as well. That's something that I would suggest that you do is, is talk to them. If, if they're exhibiting narcissistic behaviors, maybe talk to them about it and suggest other ways that they could um, possibly manage or handle a situation. Yes, yes. That's why it's so important that we, uh, the parent of the, you, <laughs> yeah. um, need to do this self-care, take care of you, get better, go to therapy, all this so that you are healthy enough to yes. teach, by example, and to be able to guide your kids. Right? Yes, it's so, so important. Yes. So, so yeah. important um, and vital and vital. Yeah. But what, I, what both me and Alina want to say mm -hmm. is that you've got this. You can yes. do this. You know what? It is going to be tough and, and we, we, we totally understand mm -hmm. that it, does, it is tough and nobody says that parenting is going to be easy and especially with a narcissistic parent. But you know what? If you learn to trust yourself and you learn to trust your own instincts, you know what you've got this you you can do this um, yes yes it's yes. It, it is gonna be trying but you know there will be those moments where it does shine through and you are going to overcome all of this and, and by doing this absolutely you get stronger and stronger and and it helps in your own healing as right. well it, it helps yes. in your own and it builds up your own um, sense of self and your own autonomy and you know what you are you know you're showing this to your children that, that this is how this is how you've got over this is what happens and so right. what greater or what better lesson than them learning from you yes you have to do this <laughs> like you know get well be healthy and all that so yeah it's so important and I want yes. to I think we need to end the video here because okay. I love what you said right there 
Um, so yes, I want to thank you, but you know, you from the bottom so, of my heart. So so I, welcome. You're Absolutely. lovely. She's exactly like your senior right here. She's lovely, <laughs> and yeah, she was so kind to you know put up with me and <laughs> filming here. Put up with anything. Yeah, she yeah. was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well. So yeah. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you, you so for much. having me on your channel. Thank you so thank much. You. It's been Bye. a pleasure. It's been absolutely amazing meeting thank you, Alina. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. <laughs>